And hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of the Narnia Life Vlogs. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into this. Uh, this episode is going to be discussing about this supposedly of, pause of silver chair film that was meant to be happening. Um, so as we all know, um, back in, I think it was 2013, um, the silver chair film was officially greenlit. Uh, we got as far as getting a director, a screenwriter. You know, we had Joe Johnson as director, David McGee as one of the screenwriters. Um, there was talk that they were working on the script. There were talks that they wanted uh, a name for the Lady of the Green Kirtle. Remember this news that was published quite a while ago now. Um, the most recent news that we had from it was that they wanted to potentially start filming in 2018, which of course hasn't happened. Um, and since then, we've had literally no news um, about the Silver Chair film because since then, it's been confirmed that um, Netflix are developing um, some Narnia adaptations for all seven stories, for all seven books. So people were thinking, you know, as the Silver, does that mean because Netflix has took over, does that mean that the Silver Chair film has been cancelled? What's happening with it? We've had literally no news about the Silver Chair film that was supposedly going to happen. Um, but some new details have emerged, which I'm going to discuss. Um, and again, this article is on Nani Web, so go over on Nani Web for the latest Nani news. Um, so Douglas Gresham, who is of course C.S. Lewis's stepson, um, he, he was originally happy with David McGee's script for the Silver Chair. Um, so all seemed to be going well at first. Um, but a change in leadership caused a bit of pressure um, to make the Silver Chair film a girl power action film, in quotation marks. Now, that would have been horrible. Now, the Silver Chair, yes, it does focus on Jill, but the fact that a change in leadership, <coughs> you know, they wanted it, they wanted it to make it like an all girl like an, a girl action kind of movie the silver chair isn't really an action based movie you know it's literally you've got Jill Eustace and Puddleglum you know travelling you know attempting to find the lost prince you know Prince Rillian now yeah they do come across some obstacles on the way which could be considered action-y I mean they do run into the giants you know, they do um, obviously go underground and everything like that. But there's no, like, big, epic action pack scene in the Silver Chair, as far as I recall. So why would they want to make it a, a girl power action film? I, I don't get that. So, um, Douglas Gresham's reaction to this, he basically turned around and told them he wasn't interested and he walked away, which, by all right, he did, this, he did the 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 best thing really um you know with what they did with Voyage of the Dawn trying to you know they took away what was important with that story and they made it about something else completely it looks like they were planning on doing that with a silver chair film which would have been worse I think that practically would have killed the series if that if, if Douglas Gresham had turned around and said yep that's fine we'll go with this I honestly think that would have killed the series, I think a lot of people, a lot of Nani fans would have boycotted the Silver Chair film if that had happened, if it had become like a, a girl power action film. Um, so yeah, so Douglas Gresham just basically turned his back, walked away and said he was no longer interested. Um, at the moment, Douglas, Douglas, uh, Douglas Gresham um, is waiting for more information regarding the Netflix Narnia ad adaptations, which is why there hasn't been no news released because there hasn't actually been any news. He's still waiting on news himself. Now, there has been a little bit of news about um, what Douglas Gresham thought about the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. He originally did object to um, an early draft of the Voyage of the Dawn Treader, where included a witch. Now, I'm not sure if by this... That means the White Witch or the Lady of the Green Curl. I'm assuming it means the Lady of the Green Curl. Um, but that was at, like in the one of the early drafts of the script. So when Douglas Rashman saw the final film, um, he was horrified about the whole Green Mist, Seven Swords element to it. Um, 
he has turned around and said, you know, the Voyage of the Dawn Shredder film does have some magnificent moments, which I will talk about in a second. Um, but he, <coughs> he wasn't at all happy with the end film. So the film had um, magnificent moments. Can I see them? Not particularly. Um, I mean, the acting. I mean, Will Poulter was easily the standout. I mean, there were some absolutely incredible shots of the Dawn Treader, like on the sea. So they were there were some magnificent shots that looked extraordinary. Um, but was there any magnificent scenes? Not that I can really remember. Um, the closest that comes to it is the end for me when they're talking to Aslan on the beach. But even then, it's not as powerful. It's nowhere near as powerful as what it is in the book. Um, so yeah, so that's the new details that we have on the Silver Chair film, which more than likely that's not going to happen now. I think we can practically, it's not 100% confirmed, but we can practically say that I think the um, Silver Chair film has been uh, cancelled, obviously in return for the um, Narnia, Na Narnia Netflix adaptations. Um, so obviously once there is information, you know, obviously it will be online and of course I will do some videos about it. So what do you guys think about the... You know, the silver chair film that was meant to happen being an all girl, you know, girl power action film. You know, that sounds horrible. I think that would have been horrible if it actually had gone ahead. Um, so, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, the next episode will be The Life and Times of Lucy Pevensey, which I know a few of you are excited for me to do. So, I'm going to record it as soon as I finish recording this. So, I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.